Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. So today we are reviewing different types of tapestry needles. I've got three different sets here. I'm super excited to test them out. We've got some thin tip ones, some metal ones, and some plastic ones. So let's test them out and see how they work. Hi friends, real quick, if you want to learn how to get these amazing ergonomic hooks in this super cute yarn bag, make sure you check out the link in the description below. All right, so today we are reviewing these tapestry needles. I have three different kinds. So I have these ones that were from Amazon, these ones that are from Amazon. I don't have the, I don't know the brands of them offhand, but I'll have it all in the description below. And then these clover ones, um, these ones are bent tip, I believe. Yeah, these are bent tip. These are a blend of like plastic, metal, and bent tip, it looks like. And then these are just metal straight ones. Um, I've got a couple swatches. Last week I had done a video on finger guides. So we're just gonna take these, um, these little swatches that I made and see how I'm, this is cotton yarn. It's Bernat Baby Softy Cotton. Um, I am obsessed with using this yarn for tutorials and different reviews. So we are going to um, test this out and see how these work. We're gonna start with these colorful ones first. It just comes in such a big container. Like reminds me of like a medical tube. I mean, you wouldn't lose it, so that's cool. All right, so let's look at what we got in here. All right, so we've got plastic ones. We have metal bent tip ones. We have, okay, so the plastic ones are straight needles and the metal ones are bent tip needles. So that's a nice, we'll try one of the plastic ones of the straight and one of the metal bent tip ones. I'll put the rest of them in here. But I mean, if you had a lot of, a lot of uh, tapestry needles, you could all put all of them in there. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll try the plastic one first. Um, it's quite bendy. I mean, yeah, it doesn't like fight the yarn. It splits yarn where you want it to split so you can pull your, this is how I weave in my ends is I, um, I'll have to move these from the back, but I split my yarn so then it's, it doesn't come out of it as fast and as easy. And it, I mean, it does just fine with that. All right, so let's try the bent tip one. I love bent tip needles. I don't know if you guys do for amigurumi. Um, yeah, this just goes through. Yeah, that one does just fine. Um, I'll cut this end off. Yeah, that didn't, it stayed in there and it seems good to me. Um, so let's try the others. I'll put these back. So let's try, these are just straight needles. There's a ton of them in here. And they all seem to be the same size. Um, and they're not sharp. These aren't sharp either. Yeah, they're all they're all the same size. These are very small compared to these ones. These ones are much smaller. Yeah, these are it's 
hard even for the cotton yarn. So like the cotton just slid through those ones super easy. These seem to be more maybe fingering. Yeah, I can't get the cotton. All right, we did it. But it like completely split that yarn. It's okay. We will go and keep going. Yeah, I mean, they, they weave in ends fine. These are just very small. So I guess if you're working with like fingering weight or DK yarn, um, or like a lace, or like a thread, a crochet thread, you would probably want tinier needles like these. Where it wouldn't like make big holes in your in your projects. Um, but yeah, these are way smaller. Like the how big the eyelets are. There's quite a big difference in that. I wonder. <laughs> Those ones fit right in there in their own little tube. That's cute. All right, so let's test out the clover ones. These are normally what I use. Um, I have a ton of different clover. They have a ton of different types, but I use clover tapestry needles a lot. Um, I pretty much use whatever I can find. All right, so there's three in here. They have different... These have different um, amounts of bend to them. That's pretty neat. So I guess if you were working on like a very like tight amigurumi or something, just so much plastic. Um, and they're different lengths. But yeah, they bend a little bit more than like this one does. So we'll just try this one. Yeah, these they, these have an in-between eyelet size compared to the other two. So this one is in between both of them. Um, yeah. It brings it right in, it's good to go. Um, so, I guess my judgment call on these is not every tapestry needle is the same. Um, I always went with bent tips or bent tips and straight needles are straight needles and doesn't seem that way. Um, I would use the, the bigger ones and the plastic, like the plastic one, bright colored ones in here. I would use those for like bulkier blankets and things like that. The bent tip ones would be great for just regular amigurumi or even like weaving and sewing in the top of like a uh, bottom up beanie. Um, these little guys would be great for amigurumi or washcloths in a smaller weight. And then the tiny straight needles would be great for DK or lace or crochet thread. So, I mean, honestly, I would probably, well, they all won't fit in there, but I would probably make sure you just have a good variety of um, different different tapestry needles. So I'll put the links in the description below for all of these. Let me know which ones you guys prefer. If you have a specific type of um, tapestry needle that you like and that way I can check it out or if you like one of these ones, let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.